Hey Minnesota, Governor Tim Walls here along with First Lady Gwen Walls. Hello. We're here to talk about one of the most important rights and responsibilities we have in our democracy. It's the right to vote. Safe and secure elections in Minnesota, that's the air we breathe. We have the highest turnout in the nation year after year, and we have the safest, most secure elections. So this is a way to make sure that you know exactly how you fill out your mail-in ballot. Let's do it again, Minnesota. Your ballot will arrive in the mail. And if you haven't ordered your ballot, Tim, you can go to a website and do that. mnvotes.org. Your ballot will come in the mail like this and you open it up. Step one, open your ballot and remove the contents. Some of you may have an easier time because you're going to lay these pieces out on your kitchen table rather than on your husband's um, favorite classic car in the backyard. What you first of all need to do is you need a black or blue pen and you need to make sure that when you fill out the ovals for your choice uh, that those are filled in completely, not an X, not a check mark, but fill it all the way in. I'm turning my ballot over to make sure I have both sides. Both sides. Almost completed. Do you want to just take a look at that? And... It's a secret ballot. I trust you. Oh, okay. I, I think I'm good to go. Uh, you'll notice that there is a ballot envelope. Put only your ballot in this envelope and seal it. And now my ballot is in the secure envelope and I'm going to take white envelope called the signature envelope and I'm going to put my ballot inside the signature envelope and once again I'm going to seal that with the adhesive that is there. I'm going to sign it where it says voter signature and I am going to sign it exactly as my name appears. And what you need to do is either put in your Minnesota driver's license number or the last four digits of your social security number, which we will uh, edit out for security purposes. I am not going to do the witness must complete this section. That is not a requirement in Minnesota law. So now I have my ballot in my secure envelope, in my signature envelope, and I'm going to place it in the envelope that has prepaid postage. You can get into your vehicle, like this beautiful 1979 Scout, or you can uh, drop it in your mailbox and they'll get it there. And then you can go online and you can track where your ballot's at. You can see that it was received and you can see that it was counted. Minnesotans, you can have faith that your vote will count. Safe and secure elections are what Minnesota does. You will have your vote counted, so go out and vote. It's an absolute privilege.